The vice president votes in the affirmative and the nomination is confirmed. It's rare that the vice president needs to exercise his power to cast a deciding vote in the U.S. Senate and unprecedented in confirming a cabinet secretary. But in the case of Betsy DeVos, the billionaire nominee to run the education department, the no votes of two Republican female senators meant a tie that would have given President Donald Trump his first defeat in Congress. I come to the floor today. Democrats mounted an all-night floor session, appealing for more Republicans to join them in rejecting someone they called unqualified for the job and unfriendly toward teachers' unions and publicly funded and supervised schools. Her only knowledge of student loans seems to come from her own financial investments connected to debt collectors who hound people struggling with student loans. And despite being a billionaire, she wants the chance to keep making money off shady investments while she runs the Department of Education. In her confirmation hearings, DeVos also proved to be shaky in her understanding of federal law guaranteeing funding for children with special needs. And she drew more opposition when asked whether guns should be allowed in schools. Well, I, I will refer back to uh, Senator Enzi and the school that he was talking about in Wapiti, Wyoming. I think probably there, I, I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. Andrew Puzder, Trump's choice for labor secretary, is another threatened nominee after disclosing that he had hired an undocumented immigrant to clean his house for several years. He's the second Trump cabinet pick to make such an admission. So far, just five cabinet members have been confirmed, leaving 15 other nominations pending. Hundreds of other positions requiring vetting and Senate approval remain unfilled. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.